1969, the world watched excitedly as the first man walked on the moon and signaled the start of a new era. 60 years later, the race to make humans a multi-planetary species has entered a new phase. Commercial space travel. Rockets are being fired to Earth's orbit almost daily. The competition is heating up as more aerospace companies enter the fray, and space travel is no longer restricted to astronauts and government agencies. As private companies actively compete to make space travel more feasible for you and me, it is opening new opportunities that we only dreamed about. And in five years, we will have the very first space hotel. The Voyager Station, open for full-fledged pleasure trips to space. Let's check it out. This past decade has been revolutionary for space travel. We've achieved more successful space launches than ever before. Private companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX are pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible and opening the frontiers of space. With more satellites and other infrastructures for research being sent up to space and astronauts being able to travel to and from the International Space Station regularly, the recent achievements have renewed our interest in space exploration. But perhaps the most obvious advantage of this new era of space exploration is space tourism. Private individuals could travel to space in the past. Remember when Dennis Tito paid $20 million to visit the ISS? But you could only do that if you had millions of dollars lying around to spend. Even then, it was frowned upon because there were few opportunities to travel to space and more important things to do on the ISS than visiting for leisure. Now, things are different. The 2021 SpaceX voyage was the first all-private mission to the ISS with the crew even deciding their own itinerary. The suborbital space tourism market is dominated by Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin. By 2025, we could see the first private mission to the moon using SpaceX's Starship. Space tourism is booming, growing faster than anyone ever imagined, and as opportunities present themselves, more companies are joining the foray. People who daydreamed of being space tourists can travel with ease and maybe even enjoy longer stay. Days. The Voyager Station is a space hotel proposed by US startup Orbital Assembly to take advantage of the growing interest in space travel. If it does launch by 2027, it will become the first of its kind. But how did it come to be? The idea for a space hotel was first proposed by the Gateway Foundation and initially named the Von Braun Station. The plan is to provide a space where intergalactic travelers can come for work, research, or fun. There is still a pretty steep price tag attached to any space trip, making it hard for most of us to think of spending a holiday in space. But Orbital Assembly is betting on the future, not the present. NASA is actively supporting companies eager to make space travel more accessible, and the competition we see now is nothing compared to what we'll see in the coming years. This is what the Orbital Assembly is counting on. As more companies make space travel possible, the prices of trips are expected to drop significantly and those tourists are going to need a place to stay. This luxury home away from home is slated to accommodate 280 guests and 112 crew members in 24 modules, totaling 125,000 square feet. It comes complete with a bar, gym, cinema, concert hall, and even a restaurant. Everything you might expect from a luxury resort. Some of the rooms can be purchased as vacation homes and its accommodations will be similar to any five-star hotel you can find on Earth, but with an edge. Every room in the hotel will feature the same surreal visual, a colorful Earth set against the black of an interstellar void. What a view! But this isn't the most exciting feature of the Voyager station. Its basic circular structure draws inspiration from the concept of the rotating wheel proposed in the early 90s as a way to generate artificial gravity. Hey spacers, before you make a list of what to bring, make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new and amazing space content. And now, the Voyage to Voyager.
After blasting off from Earth, tourists will arrive at a zero-gravity docking hub in the middle of the station, which also serves as the operation and control center. Elevators in spoke-like shafts transport the guests and employees to a chain of habitation modules spread throughout the hotel, and it is only there that gravity will be strong enough to keep the guests grounded. Thanks to this, Visitors can enjoy some benefits of gravity, like showers, and sitting down to eat and sleep without worrying about spills and floating. While simulated gravity is especially helpful to long-term visitors, for many guests, part of the excitement of traveling to space is the feeling of weightlessness, and the company has plans to ensure that no one misses out on the experience. The station is designed to function in both zero and partial gravity, giving visitors a chance to enjoy the best of both worlds. At first, Voyager's gravity level will be similar to that of the Moon and will eventually replicate the gravity of Mars once there is more data on how humans adapt to artificial gravity. If this project seems ambitious, that's because it is. Building a massive project like this in space is difficult on any given day. Its success relies heavily on the possibility of space travel becoming cheaper and more accessible to people. A suborbital flight still costs 450,000 or more, and the four passengers on SpaceX's 2021 orbital mission reportedly paid $50 million each for a seat on the spacecraft. It would take a decade or more for space travel to truly become accessible to the public. Despite that, you would still need special equipment and months of special training before you could even think of flying to space. And not a lot of people might want to go through the trouble and cost of doing that. It takes away the fun of the vacation. Orbital Assembly intends to use SpaceX's Starship to transport its modules by 2026 and have the hotel ready by 2027. But the rocket is far from ready. SpaceX struggled with developing Crew Dragon to the point where NASA astronauts can travel safely in it. And developing Starship has been a challenge of its own. It has yet to make its first orbital flight without blowing up and waiting for Starship to be ready could put a damper on their plans. And this isn't the only only possibility to consider. For artificial gravity to work, the system has to be surrounded by a ring-like external structure that rotates the modules. The centrifugal force that would be exerted would simulate the gravitational force and create a sixth of the Earth's gravity. This has never been attempted in space on such a large scale, and there is no telling how it will play out when orbital assembly puts its system together. You also have to consider the temperature Temperatures in space. Temperatures in space for those orbiting the planet can range from extreme heat to extreme cold, depending on whether astronauts are in the dark or direct sunlight. The major problem is building pressurized modules that can withstand these extreme temperatures and provide visitors with a good experience. Does Orbital have what it takes to pull this off? That's the burning question. To serve guests at the space station, Voyager would have to employ people from across the globe. This would mean spending extended periods in space, which is known to have several effects on the human body. This would also mean multiple trips back and forth to the space hotel, and there will most likely be physical risks involved for a wide variety of people. While their ambitious plan to debut the hotel by 2027 is laudable, it is mind-boggling to think that any company or agency can build such a large project in just five years. The only entity with the ability to do so is NASA, because they have the funds to pull it off. And even then, the cost of construction never stays the same. Far smaller projects have run into delays, numerous obstacles and cost overruns, and the same will happen to the Voyager project. It could go over budget by billions of dollars, making the project a little difficult to pull off for a private company. If Orbital Assembly can pull this off, Voyager Station would be unparalleled. There have been multiple proposals for space hotels, but these plans never made it anywhere. A few years ago, Orion Span proposed a space hotel made up 
up of a few modules to be launched in 2021 or 2022, and nothing came of it. A Russian company called Orbital Technologies also expected to launch its hotel by 2020. Where is it now? There is nothing technological standing in the way of making the Voyager station, but it will take more than fancy tech to make this a reality. Your investors have to believe in your vision. The public has to believe in it too. And until something is done, there will always be doubts about the feasibility of a space hotel. So we will have to wait and see if they can overcome these obstacles and make an unprecedented advancement in space travel. Hey, spacers, share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to check out other videos as we continue to explore the depths of the universe do you think the Voyager station will be up and running by 2027? If you're loving our content, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space videos. See you next video.